Well, that finishes my report. Time to get ready to swim. Yeah, we wouldn't want to make them wait. Let's do it. Mom, where's my swimming suit? Why do you need to know? In the second drawer, honey. Mega Man, where are my goggles? In the closet. Shoot, I'm running late. Let's get a move on, Mega Man. You have mail, Len. From Dex. Use it. Len, I want you to take this. I can't do anything with Gutsman gone, but... You still have Mega Man. If these can help you, take them. And so we get the Dex code. And we may as well use that. Which, the easiest way to... It would be to just go through Dex's computer, really. I do kind of wish, just like Mail can still give you chips for Roll, Dex could still give you chips for Gutsman. I kind of miss him. Hello, Mega Man. Do you want to link this webpage with Lens? Then you could come and go directly between his page and Dex's. Shall I link them? Actually, yes, because this is a more useful shortcut. It gets us deep into ACDC 2, rather than just being an alternate entry to ACDC 1, which is the case with both Males and Yai's pages. You'll really link pages with us? Here, take this. Use this banner to come here. And we get Dex banner. Okay, I'll place a link. Heave ho! And there we go. We got the guts! And we'll just open this. That's all we need to do here. I see you over there. Yeah, don't surprise me like that, Len. You'll make me lose at hide and seek. All one word. What'd you say? I'm so loud I'll give myself away? Shoot, you're right. Oh man, where is he hiding? Well, apparently your opponent didn't notice. Let's see. Sneak over here real quick. And we still can't get into Higsby's. Also, still no squirrel adventures for us. Sorry, guys. Ahem! Len! I've told you before not to make a lady wait. I'm sorry, really. I didn't mean it. Well, okay. I'll let you off this time. So where are we going? Right, I was wondering the same thing. Yeah, where to, Yai? Today we're heading to the deserted island of Oran. A long time ago, Oran Isle prospered as a source of coal. But with the demand for coal gone, the mines closed and the island became deserted. With nobody to bother us, we can have all the fun we ever wanted. A deserted island? That sounds like a real adventure. Time to cast sail. Hooray! hours from ACDC Town, Plan and friends arrive at the tiny island of Oran in the Pacific Ocean. So wait a minute. They made up cyber world names for all the different countries, but it's still the Pacific Ocean. Tell us the size of Indian elephants. We're here! Wow, time to go crazy. Shoot, Dex, not just yet. Welcome to Oran Isle. Wow, it's beautiful. The waters are clear, and the air is crisp. <laughs> what I tell ya? And we're the only ones here. So, all this bounty is ours for the pickin'. Look over there, the beach! Behold, beach! Yahoo! Let's take a dip! Len, I bet I can swim faster than you. I bet you can't. Okay, last one to hit the beach is a rotten egg. Vroom! 
Hey, no fair, Dex. Mail, yai, let's go. My, boys never stop goofing off, do they? You go ahead by yourself. We'll catch up to you after we change on the ship. Now, go have your silly race. There's nothing silly about it. Sure, sure. Better run along. Dex is waiting. Mail, let's go inside the ship. Okay. Lan, what are you standing there for? Can't stand apart from us beautiful ladies. What? Are you kidding? See you guys later then. Tee hee hee. Let's go, Mail. So you can look around a bit here and there. Is this some kind of speaker? Lush green bamboo. Bamboo's a mystical plant that flowers only once every several decades or so. A lone tree stands away from the rest. It's a rather lonely sight. A dried out old tree about to fall over. It'll eventually decay and fertilize the soil. There's actually reasons I'm looking at all this stuff. Dried out grass has been gathered into a pile. We're going to need to know where some of these things are. Including a rather rudely hidden one. Some fishing lines tangled in seaweed. Some people don't know how to fish. Yippee! Can you feel this wind? Land, my man! Over here, get a move on! Gotcha, Dex. Coming your way. Where's the iron mail? You're changing on the ship. Let's suit up and start swimming. Let's see, where's a good place to change? Hehe. <laughs> I know just the thing for changing into a suit. Oh no, you can't possibly... Yup, the forbidden art of suit changing. Houdini of the beach! Len, what's he talking about? Houdini? It's a forbidden art passed down from father to son. Remove pants, then wear your suit over your underpants. Then, remove underpants out from under suit. This way, you can change into your suit without once getting naked. Er, what makes that a forbidden art? Allow me to explain. On the one hand, you can safely change into your suit, but not without paying a dear price. When you remove your suit from beneath your underpants, you're forced to stretch your underpants out and pull them over each leg one at a time. Now take it from me, that can be a lot of stretching. More stretching, in fact, than most underpants can stand. With each use, your underpants take a beating. Before you know it, your overworked underpants will let out a terrible sound and rip in two. What's worse? Oh, I can't bear to say it. Eh, quit it, Dex. What are you two babbling about? Save us from this deep lore. Ta-da! Okay, guys, we're going to have a swimming race. So, hurry up and get changed. Land, Dex, we're going to get in the water. Dex, let's get changed. Yeah, time for Houdini of the Beach! Rip. I don't think that was the escape act he had in mind. I said we're gonna have a swimming race, didn't she? Yeah, she did. Hey, what's that? Vroom. Wow, yay, yeah, awesome! How's this, guys? My very own jet-powered inner tube. That's cheating! Yai's just here to abuse us all. Hey, hit the watermelon, not me. Go, Yai, go. Is she cheering herself on? Right, left. Let him have it, Yai. I'll get you for this, Lan. Tee hee hee. Whew, that sure was fun. Don't talk like it's over, Mail. The fun's just begun. 
growl. But first we gotta get something to eat. Hmm, I know. We'll catch some fish for you. Len, are you up for a fishing battle? But how are we gonna fish without equipment? Are you kidding? All you need to fish is bamboo, fish line, and worm. Yep, this is why we needed to look at stuff earlier to figure out where everything is. We can find that much lying around somewhere. Whoever catches the most fish wins. Guy, Mail, you wait here. I'm gonna get a head start. Sheesh, that dex never runs out of steam. Len, you've got mail. It's an order from Beryl. Let's step away and read it out of sight of Mail and Yai. Right, sure. Hmm, maybe I'll go find some stuff to fish with. We're not counting on you, but good luck anyway. Be careful. Okay, catch you later then. Oh, the sandcastle disappeared. So, yeah, we need to be very careful and cautious about this, and... Hey guys, mind if I check my email here? Go to Oran, from Beryl. The next mission will take place in Oran Area 3. How convenient! But we need to scout out the area first. Your orders are to go to Oran Area 1 on the net. I'll send Colonel along as well. So, we need to find a way to get to Oran Area. That supersedes the fishing requirements. Is this some kind of speaker? A close look reveals a port to jack in. Yeah, we apparently couldn't see that earlier. Jack in! Mega Man Execute! So, welcome to Oran Area 1. However, we are going to make a bit of a detour first. And we get a bug frag. So, welcome to Oran Area 2. We really have no reason to be here. Welcome to Oran Area 2. For your information, you cannot reach Oran Area 3 from here. The entrance to Oran Area 3 is on the top floor of Oran Area 1. Yeah, that makes sense. The Nebula Darkvoids are lurking in Oran Area 3, so it is best you're not going there anyway. Good to know. Oop. Long Sword in. Sadly, still not the code I really want. So we have boulders on the field. Essentially, they're just what you'd think, they're obstacles. They block shots and also your movement. And they do the same for enemies as well. It is worth noting, though they don't show any HP, they do kind of have a built-in HP counter. So you can destroy them after a while, it does take some time though. They're big rocks, they've got a lot of health. Vulcan 2C, an upgrade of a chip that we have, however, for the sake of the program advance I'm trying to do, I need to stick with Vulcan 1s. Well, I can at least get you out of the way quickly. I want to save the mystery data if I can. And there we go. Air hockey, yes. I do love the air hockey chips. I've been told not to abuse them this time, because I kind of did that during Battle Network 4, but I love those chips so much. I want to become a cyber journalist, so I came here to cover the occupation of the area. But I wish I hadn't. This is scary. So up there we have a deactivated warp panel. That's what the furnace panel would have looked like if we hadn't turned that on at Yai's place. So there's a device in the real world that we need to activate to get in there. We also have grass panels now. What element viruses standing on grass panels? They get healed over time. 
but also notable, any virus standing on grass panels will take double damage from heat element attacks. So, things to take advantage of. Also, fire will get rid of the grass panels as well. out pretty nicely. So we have another skull gate here. With mystery data behind it. Can't get that yet, of course. A one-way panel with a warp panel behind it. Can't go that way. Lots of things we can't do. And we have vacuum fans. Pretty much the same as wind boxes, except these ones try to pull you in. There's one chip I could use to save that mystery data. Okay, actually more than I thought. Mark Cannon will do the trick. And we got Fan Asterisk, nice! And a Bug Frag. And 600 Zennies. Not a bad haul. So if we go around this way, we can reach the entrance to this area again. But we have something else to check out first. Like I said, there's not really much point to us being in this area. I just kind of wanted to scout ahead and get what we could. That's just the way I play these games. Exploration is fun. I'm not out to speedrun or anything. The floors with arrows on them are moving pathways. Use the right side to go to the far side. And left side to come back. Fair enough. Going this way takes us to that closed off war panel we saw earlier. This door is under Scilab control. Access from Oran area to end area ahead is restricted due to measures taken against Nebula. Only authorized personnel are allowed here. And apparently that's not us. So, yeah, not really anything else for us to do here right now. Time to get back out of Oran 2. To go back to Oran 1, so we can get to Oran 3. Who planned this place? 